Hello Wastelanders, Vlad here. Today I'm here with my friend Absinthe. We're going to do a quick tour of his camp, which is a themed camp based off of the British TV show, Are You Being Served? So let's jump on in. Alright, so Absinthe, tell me about the, tell me about this build. Well, this uh, build was inspired by the TV show, the British sitcom, Are You Being Served?, which ran from 1972 to 1985. Um, although when I would have watched it in the States, it was probably around 2002 to 2005 on the WLRN network. Uh, okay. and I believe it also aired on the PBS network here in the States as well. Right. So when we come in, so, uh, we're going to enter through these doors. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't follow the exact floor plan. I did take some creative liberties. So in the original TV show, you would have entered the store through the elevators and immediately taken the steps down into the department floor. But because I was uh, I was concerned with the budget, I, I did um, take that bit out. So we immediately walk onto the sales floor. Um, All right. So the TV show takes place yeah. into the department store. Yes. And this particular um, TV show focuses on the men and women's clothing department on the third floor, I believe, uh, of, of the TV show. And here we have the ladies department, which would have been um, served by two of the assistants, Mrs. Slocum, the senior assistant, who uh, famously had a different hair color every episode and wore a, a frilly dress, and her assistant, the junior, Mrs. Brahms. Okay. Over here in the center would have been some sort of a gimmick that they tried to increase sales every every episode, and it was often um, the realm of the floor walker, Captain Peacock. Okay. Um, and over here onto the right would have been the men's department. Um, although there are two male mannequins here, I only limited to five mannequins. There actually would have been three men on the TV show. Uh, Mr. Humphreys and Mr. Lucas, uh, followed by the senior uh, salesman, Mr. Granger. Although throughout the TV show, this position did change quite a bit. We had a couple of men uh, in the TV show come in and play the role of the senior sales salesperson in the in their department okay. throughout the TV show. Um, yes. All right, cool. <laughs> so uh, you got a lot of stuff. I guess in the uh... So the men and women's department, they didn't get along, or they were just competing against each other? Uh, well, uh, it first started out as a bit of a rivalry. So in the original TV show, the entire floor would have been dedicated to the men's department. But um, they decided to consolidate that and move the women's department onto the sales floor. So they had to share half the store uh, with the women's clothing department and in the, in the early episodes this did cause quite a bit of traction between the two uh, a lot of humor uh, ended up being resulted uh, from this bit of a quagmire they had on the show which i absolutely uh, i absolutely just loved it was, it was just absolutely comic genius which i really enjoyed but later on they would actually work together and there would be some episodes uh, where they would actively try to not make sales uh, and that would be cooperating through each of the department. There was a specific episode, actually, where they had to come in an extra hour early to um, help increase sales, and and it works. And because the staff didn't really fancy coming into the store an hour early, they decided to sabotage that by trying to drive people away from sales to so do the exact opposite. And this leads to absolutely one of the one of the best episodes, in my opinion, of the series. One, of, certainly, one of my favorites, and definitely one of many, many iconic episodes throughout the entire series of the of the show. Okay, well, I mean, it looks good to me. I'm not familiar with this show, so I'm going to have to look up and see how close you got um, with your concept. But uh, I like the yes. thought here, and uh, turned out pretty nice. So uh, thanks for yes. sharing it with me.